Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Today, back is our special guest, Trevor Loudon. Trevor is a political activist, a blogger, and the author of Enemies Within, Communist, Socialists, and Progressives in the United States. And he was featured and produced the 2016 documentary titled Enemies Within. Welcome back, Trevor. Well, great to be on. Thanks, Barry. Oh, it's so wonderful to have you. It's an honor. So we talked a little bit before about Joe Biden, maybe the next president, maybe not. We don't know yet. Uh, he's been promoted in the press as a moderate, certainly not a progressive, but some very radical things seem to be leaking out of the Biden-Harris camp, and they sound, well, borderline socialist communist to me. Uh, am I off base on this? No, look, look, the, the Bernie Sanders wing, the you know, the only reason Joe Biden is a president today is because he was the only one at the time who could stop Bernie Sanders. So he was used to put to stop Bernie Sanders so they could maneuver Kamala Harris in through the back door. And her agenda is communist. And I'm not remotely exaggerating when I say that. Joe is a deep progressive. He's very socialist but he can hardly tie his own shoelaces. You know, he's not going to be uh, in any way uh, a president, uh, uh, he's not gonna be in any way in control of what goes on. This is, a, if they get in, it'll be the third term of Obama and he will try to finish off what he started. You know, with immigration, amnesty, swamping the base, um, you know, getting a full socialized healthcare, gutting the US military, um, erasing the borders, all of these kind of things, massive increase in refugee resettlement from the Middle East, all of it designed to destroy any chance that Republicans can ever come back at any time in the future. Well, that's terrifying. Um, in regards to the election that just happened a few weeks ago, which, as we know, we don't know what happened yet, although it's not looking good for Trump and it's looking positive for Biden. And there's been overwhelming discussion about foreign interference, particularly Russia. Did China get involved in our election at all? I mean, you seem to be the expert on this. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, they said, look, I think everything that happened this year was Chinese involvement in the election. The COVID was designed to bring down Trump. The riots, the Black Lives Matter riots, which are all, all Chinese directed, they were designed to bring down Trump. And the massive um, electoral networks that the Chinese had going in seven states in this country, they were all designed to bring down Trump as well. And, you know, the, I'm sure they were operating on many other levels and propaganda and social media and, and the financial markets, buying off people, influencing the mainstream media. So much of America's mainstream media is dependent on some way on China. For, for whether it's for advertising, re advertising revenue, for the market access that they want to get in China, for the actual communist journalists that they employ. So virtually everything was directed at destroying Trump. He's, he's communist China's number one enemy in the world. He's the only one that can stop them right now. So every all the guns, all the guns were trained on Trump and all focused in the election. The Black Lives Matter thing was nothing to do with George Floyd. That was planned since 2016. George Floyd was just a convenient trigger. If it hadn't been George Floyd, it would have been Fred Smith and Omaha the week after, or Joe Jones in LA the week after that. You know, so it's all directed. So that the whole electoral process was directed. Um, the left-wing electoral process was in influenced by the Chinese to some degree or another. Are there any others on the list? I'm thinking Iran, North Korea, mm -hmm. Russia, Ukraine. Are they all in the anybody but Trump camp? Yeah, look, uh, Venezuela, Cuba, um, Russia, Iran, all of them. All of them are working together, you know, to some degree collaborating in some way. You know, the Venezuelans were involved in the Black Lives Matter riots, for instance. The, the group that started the main riots 
They sent five delegations to Venezuela in the year before. Um, the Russians were doing, and are still doing a lot of stuff on social media, spreading disinformation. This, this joke that they were pro-Trump, you know, they, the Russians have been working with the Democrats for 60 years, you know, but what better way to throw people off the track of the real Russian collusion than to blame it all on Trump, who wasn't actually colluding with the Russians. But that's an old Leninist trick, you know, blame others for what you're doing yourself. So, yeah, actually, it's also, it, it's, it's a Goebbels thing. Accuse others yeah. of what it is you're doing and say it often enough, it becomes the truth. Yeah, it, it's, look, the Nazis and the Soviets all learn propaganda from each other. They're, they're all skilled totalitarians and propaganda is a big part of any totalitarian empire. So, yes, foreign involvement in the election, 100 percent and a, a, to a much greater scale than i think any americans could comprehend well and the you're, chinese you're, were the key players but they were far from the only ones you paint a bleak picture and i'm not being critical that the news is bad therefore the we shoot the messenger trevor i the news is just is really bad um looking forward if if it becomes, as it may, the Biden-Harris administration, which very quickly could become the Harris administration, nobody, I mean, very few people, I should say, the vast majority of Americans think Biden could not finish a four-year term. And I, I'm including Democrats in those polls. Yeah, so yeah. the ascension of Kamala Harris to the Oval Office would not be a, a shocker to most people. Is our electoral system, the system that was probably corrupted and probably ripe with fraud and the effect of great foreign influence um, affecting the voter turnout, the voter results and so on, is it salvageable or are we gonna end up with a one party system for the next foreseeable future? Well, look, look, this is why I think Trump's battle to, to get on top of the vote fraud is so critical. Win or lose, if he can expose the massive vote fraud that's been going on, that will spur Republican-held states to enact reforms, you know, paper, go back to paper ballots, do all these kind of things. Look, if, if we let this slip by, we will never be able to trust another election in American history. If we can allow a presidential election to be so blatantly stolen, we, the, the, the Democrats will just do it forever. And what that will do, that will discourage any good candidates coming forward on the Republican ticket. Do you think, why would I invest two years of my life and half a million dollars to stand against a, Repu a Democrat, even though I believe in my cause, when I know they're probably going to steal the election and nobody's going to do anything about it? So the implications of this fraud are massive. It won't just affect this election, it'll affect every other election down the track. That's why Trump has actually got to, got to pursue this. But then here's a positive scenario. Say Trump does expose the fraud and he does regain the presidency, that will completely demolish the credibility of the Democratic Party and the left-wing media for decades. It will destroy the Democratic Party. And we've always had this thing, we've accused the Democrats of fraud for years and years. And they will say, where's your proof? Where's your proof? Well, we'll have the proof. It'll be there in the courts. And every, and that will give the federal government the impetus and all the state legislatures around the country that are controlled by Republicans or the few honest Democrats remaining, they will implement very tough voter registration laws and very tough election laws that will give the demo that will put the Democrats out of power for another 20 years. So, so the the hot the consequences for losing this are horrible, but the possibilities if we win it are much greater than I think most of us realize. This will be a real turnaround in American politics. So we got to hang tough. We got to keep the faith. We got to keep acting like Trump is the president. And we got to keep on working to make him the president. 
and we've got to send money to his campaign and keep holding the rallies to keep the public opinion aware of what's going on. Because right now, they're just trying to create this massive fate of conflict. Uh, you still think the election was stolen? Move on, you sore loser, you know? So, so look, the first election was a miracle. 20, 2016 was a miracle. And people were hoping God would give us another one. Well, I think he has. I think he didn't give us a straight out victory because I think if we go through this, it will actually be greater. Because not only will Trump win, but he will have an opportunity to expose the evil in the Democratic Party for all the world to see. All the world to see. So the, the potential upside is pretty darn good. So I'm still an optimist. I'm still hanging in there. And I think all of us should. You know, we you know, we got to keep going here. The next couple of weeks, my friend, are going to tell us whether you're a happy or a sad Trevor Loudon. So thanks for coming on today on ATP Report. Uh, please tell our people where they can find you. But go to my daily blog, trevorloudon.com. My videos, my books are all available there. You can get signed or get autographed copies of my books. Great Christmas presents, by the way. And or yeah, go go to my daily blog, trevorloudon.com. I've got four books for sale there, a couple of DVDs. And um, if you want to get prepared for the battles ahead, you've got to know your enemy. And there's no greater source for knowing your enemy than the materials you find in my blog. Check him out. This guy knows what he's talking about. And he knows things that a lot of people just are afraid to talk about. And for those of you that want to get more of American Truth Project and you want to get it on your text message system from your cell phone, please take out your phone now, send the message truth, address it to 88202, push send 88202. You'll be automatically subscribed to our text message alert system. You get all of our shows on your cell phone absolutely free. We never charge for content. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.